texture is just completely off. I think it's really gummy. It's frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why would somebody want to make this? Oh, no. Very gummy. It's not... Gummy. Try kind of back to you. Okay. She's right. Gummy, she's been polite. I think that Lisa doesn't know at all what's going on with the kitchen. What's this here? Louis, when was all this done? Monday. So we're searing tuna on a Monday for Thursday. Yeah. What are you doing? Look at the colour of it. Get me Lisa, please. Right here. I'm getting really nervous now. This is seared on Monday. Thursday. We can't say tuna to order. That's why it doesn't taste good. Does that make business sense upstairs? No, it or? doesn't. When was the last time you looked in this fridge? Uh, I never really examined it. No. Oh, dear. Lisa, how long ago do you think that was sliced? I don't know. Roughly. A couple of days. A couple of days. It's like pastrami. But that is scary. Ay, ay, ay. Like, I don't know these things are going on unless someone tells me, and they haven't told me. Dinner service is off to a rough start. Customers are unhappy. The food is far from fresh, and Lisa, the owner, is unaware of many of the problems in her own kitchen. But as bad as it is, it's about to get worse. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. When was the last time this place was clean? Stop! Get you! Stop! Everybody, stop! Lisa, come here two seconds. Come here. When was the last time this place was cleaned? They should be cleaning every day. But look, just here. Just everywhere. Disgusting. Look at it. This is above food. I mean, come on. Luis, I am not serving food like this. OK. That is disgusting. I don't think it really has affected or gone in the food. Like, How do you know? We have customers to serve right now. And people OK, do me a favor. Right now. You serve those customers right now, I'm out of here. Your fucking choice. Because you think I'm going to stand you, there. What do you want? And let you, what, do you mean, what do I want? <laughs> Fuck it. I'll do it this way, then. Excuse me. Excuse me. All these tables here. Can I borrow it for two seconds, please? Follow me. Sir, come through. Madam, come through. I just stopped serving food in here because of the shit and the dust. Are you interested in being served dinner with that filth dripping in your food? Does anyone want to eat now? Yeah, that's your customer. You need me to tell you that? Laugh. I'm not laughing. I think you're a jerk. You should be embarrassed. Excuse me. It's a little bit gross like that, but was it really affecting our food tonight? No. Like, did he need to make a huge spectacle and embarrass me in front of all my customers? No. Lisa. Just, I'm over it. <laughs> Lisa, what do you mean? You come out, make us look like shit in front of, like, friends and customers. And... Lisa, first thing I said, can we stop serving food? You're totally oblivious to what's happening in your business. You may have bought the restaurant at 23, my darling, but you're not fucking running it. Grow up, Lisa, will you? Just 90 minutes into a disastrous dinner service, Cece is not only frustrated, I'm done. she is embarrassed and has reached her breaking point. <laughs> are you going to be all right or are you going to pinch out? I can't get you my breath. You want oxygen? Or... Huh? I reached the breaking point in the middle of everything. and I just totally wanted to go home. Even though Cece has calmed down and returned to the kitchen... Can you tell the rest of the people when I'm serving him my food? She has no interest in continuing to cook. Shut the restaurant, then. We got to get What's the, the rest of What's the point of having a fucking chef that doesn't want to cook for them? Shut it down. Well, we got to... I'll get back there. I'll huh? get back there. It's too important. It's too important. As Michael and the line cooks try to push the last orders out, back in the dining room, many customers are fed up... ...and leave without ever receiving any food. 
have two minutes with you? Thank you. You're right. <laughs> now, come on. <laughs> I can't start to even attempt to help unless you come to terms with the problem, and that is the food. I it's good when I cook. Nicely. Come on. This is not a game for me. It's not a fucking game for me. This is my life. It's not a joke for me. Don't stop saying that. It's not a joke. It's not a joke for me. I care. If I didn't care, I wouldn't fucking be here. Don't stop saying I don't care. Just stop, please. Oh, I haven't said that. Yes, you did. What I'm trying to tell you is that you have to come to terms internally that there's a huge problem, and that is with the food. Nobody wants to hear that anything that they do sucks. I don't like to fail. Death would be better than failing. It's certainly not the sign of weakness to admit your failings. I've closed three restaurants, but I also have a number of successful ones. 1,650 members. I know who members. you are. That's... And it's, it's, I... Yeah, a jerk, you told me earlier. Well, you can be a jerk. Stop acting like a pensionant teenager. I'm not going to stand there and be a doormat for you to take the piss out of me. Let's get one thing right. You asked me here, and I'm here to help. So let me in. OK, the food sucks. There, you happy? There's a problem with the way the food is prepared. There's a problem with the way the food is ordered. There's a problem with the way the food's not respected. I'm sorry, Cece, but it's just not good enough. <laughs> New day tomorrow, OK? What do you want me to do? I want you to go home and get some rest. Right. We start to rebuild. I'm sorry I called your name. Let's go. Up. Let's get in there. Let them clear down, and I want you out of here. OK? Where am I going? Yes. Home. He says he wants to help me, and I believe him. This place means everything to me. And I don't want to just give up. Chef Ramsay returns to the kitchen and takes charge. If it hits the pilot lights and backfires, it's going to blow on his legs or blow on his face. Underneath. It's underneath. Watch out. Watch out. Get out. Watch out, guys, please. Clear it away. Clear it away. I mean, when was the last time that was clean? All right, keep working. Keep working. Chef Ramsay got the fire out. Now we're trying to get reorganized and back on track. I need one lamb, medium rare, one ribeye, medium rare. Come on, guys. Pull together. Let's go. Despite being down to only six burners in the kitchen. Finally an order out. OK. Andy and Orlando have led a comeback. This is you, veal chop, lamb chop. That's it. And Fleming has rebounded from the fire. Roasted chicken. This is outstanding. It's delicious. I like that. I don't like this one. People were extremely responsive to the new menu. They loved the items. They were socializing and, and having a good time. It was more noise than I've heard in this restaurant in 15 years. It's just refreshing to see it this way. Are you ready for dessert? The chocolate mousse. We want one of everything. <laughs> oh, very good. The dessert trolley was sensational. And everyone loved the desserts. There's nothing left behind. Nothing to box, no swans. Cheers to you. Thanks. Thank you. Cheers to you. Success of your restaurant. Hope you the best, sir. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Have yeah. a good night. OK, uh, guys, come over, please. It was a tough night. It was a successful night. But the oven slowed up service. So it's going to be very difficult to produce this new menu, or any menu for that matter, with the equipment we have. Yeah, what a night. What a significant difference. Wasn't there a new energy in the dining room tonight? A sort of vibe yeah. of, yeah? People were alive. Yeah, we energized. Any one of you could have thrown in the towel and given up. And you held your own. And I, I, I believed in the passion and the fight and the determination to make this restaurant work. Thank you, sir. That was the good news. But there's a big problem here, yeah? This problem will prevent Fleming from being a success. I need you to follow me, all of you, please. I was scared and I wanted to get away because I had no idea what was going to happen. 
Just hurry up, please. Come out. Just hurry up. Stand over there, please. Oh, dear. Tonight, I was forced to make an emergency call. And this is the result of that call. There we are. state-of-the-art, brand-new, tailor-made Vulcan kitchen. When that tarp came off, I just felt this whole sense of relief. This was amazing. This was the missing link. Oh, my God! What the hell? That's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen in my life. That's too much. Wow! That's for us? Come on! We're starting off with a unique six-ring burner, a convection oven. Phenomenal. Followed by a six burner diamond cut char grill. And then finally, the most amazing fryer. I'm very fucking happy. <laughs> it's been installed tonight. Now, you have no excuse. Wow. No excuse. Andy and Suzanne, you have everything you need inside that restaurant now. Low staff, great decor, great chef, great menu, and a new kitchen. Now, take it and run with it.